Good morning guys and very welcome to this little video update on my Volkswagen Golf City Streamer. So uh, as you can see I have this week installed the motor into the engine bay here. And I've also installed the brake servo. Created all the brake lines and yeah some other stuff and uh, I will just show you around here so the brake servo and uh, the brake cylinder and all the brake lines are now created and i also painted them in the same color as they have from the beginning there so those are actually copper uh, lines but um, uh, i decided to paint them because okay they look really great the first year maybe but then they will just corrode and and look pretty ugly uh, if you ask me but anyway that's how I have done it here. And then I also have connected all the links to the shifting of the gears. So now that is working. It actually takes some time to have the gears working correctly because it's so very fine tuning stuff there. So it works like this that if you put in the first gear and it works really nice and easy, well then you will not be able to engage the fifth gear. So it's Important to be right in the middle there with the adjustment. Uh, yeah, and then uh, I have also installed the vacuum pump here. So this is a very nice uh, vacuum pump. It's really quiet. And this comes from an, uh, I think it was a Golf or something. I have just recreated the mounting stuff here. So it will be a little more slim than it was before. So uh, I will just apply uh, positive and negative here and then it will go through that pressure sensor that will be uh, sitting here. So when the vacuum uh, starts to uh, decrease the pump will automatically go again. So I don't need this to be running all the time there. So the plan is just to have the uh, vacuum line between the vacuum tank and the switch here to this pump. I will have a T connection here and then it will go straight up to the uh, servo there and that's pretty much how it was done when this car had the original motor to it and then we also have the water pump here so I have just uh, yeah set it here right now so you can see my plan here the water will go in here and then it will go out in this end and then into the inverter this is the inverter section by the way and this is the charger and then the water will go into the inverter here and then go out through this pipe here and then down to the motor and then out from the motor and up to the top of the uh, radiator and then out again cooled and nice into the water pump again and then everything will uh, go on over again and i i think that i will have some kind of t connector here so i will uh, have my expansion tank uh, on the original place where it should be and some kind of uh, drossel inside of that pipe so I don't push the water back up to the expansion tank I'm not sure if that will work but I hope that it will work and then I also have ordered a heating system that you will find on uh, Volkswagen e-app so uh, when I have that I think that I will install that one uh, on the back side of the motor here and uh, then I also will have a T connector to this cooling system here with also a drossel inside of it. So it not will pump the heated water into this cooling circuit here. That heating is on 5.5 uh, kilowatt I think or 5 kilowatt and it is rated to 350 volts. So it will work just perfect together with this Nissan Leaf battery. The fact is that the old EAPs had the same cell configuration as this Nissan LEAF system. So uh, those parts will be nicely adapted. And uh, I will control that heater with a normal relay. So uh, <clears throat> I am not uh, planned to use any adjustment on that one. So it will uh, be on there for only 100%. And then I maybe had plans to activate some kind of uh, turning signal relay that will activate a huge uh, magnet blowout relay so I maybe can have some kind of slow PVM to this uh, 
uh, heater later on. That will... Yeah, I'm just uh, fantasizing here. So I'm not sure how, uh, how that would work actually, but I have some plans. You need to have some plans. Maybe try some of them out and uh, sometimes they work and sometimes they not work so good. So a lot of uh, talking there about my heating system, but that's uh, really important because uh, I am planning to use this in early spring to the late autumn and uh, <laughs> well, we even need the heat some summer evenings there. All right, let's leave the heating for now and let's leave the cooling system and also the vacuum system here. So let's go into the car and take a look at what I am doing right now. So as you can see here, I have a lot of cables laying around there <clears throat> and uh, sorry, uh, this is the 12 volt wiring that I am working with right now. So I am trying to wrap everything up here so it will look nice again. I will just bring some light here. So as you can see it's uh, pretty messy. It looks worse than it is, I hope. So I have just started to clean everything here so it should be a little more nice. So you can see the problems that I am having with those wires here is that that old tape that they put on on those wires are pretty much just falling off here as you can see. So I remove all of this old tape and uh, it's some kind of cloth tape that they have used. So here we have one parking light by the way and uh, <laughs> this is normally being on the outside in the engine bay of course. It would be nice to do some dry ice blasting on this, but uh, I didn't have the time there to take all of those wires out just to, to blast it. So I pretty much just will clean them with a wet uh, cloth and uh, hopefully that will be just fine. So here are some wires that I already have been taking care of. I did that last evening here. So this is how it will look when it starts to be finished. This is for the headlight. I am not repaired this. I will of course do this really nice. So I will just concentrate now on the wirings and have them out in the engine bay again. So this is what I am working with right now and it, was, and, and it will take some hours before this is done. And I can highly recommend this cloth tape here. Uh, it's from uh, a Swedish uh, bil tema. Normally I am not so impressed by their stuff, but I have to say that uh, for the money that this tape was uh, costing, I am really super impressed. It's really, really sticky and it's also really, really nice. So you have this uh, flexibility into it, so you don't have any wrinkles when you... Of course there will be some wrinkles, but not the same as the PVC tape that people normally use when they are cleaning, cleaning up their uh, wiring system. So as I said, I highly recommend this tape, Bill Tema. Yep, that's it. All right guys, that was everything for this weekly update. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below there and uh, maybe give me a thumbs up and please leave a comment if you wonder something. Ask me whatever you like. Almost. <laughs> All right. This was everything, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. See you later.